Happy New Year! It's the new year, everyone. It's 2023. And a new year means a new us. And for fellow gardeners, such as myself, it's time to start planning that next garden for the season. Yeah. Now, if you're like me and you happen to live in zone 8B, then it's time to start those pepper plants if you're going to do it from seed. They take a really long time. Now, something that I do not have that would come very much so in handy when it comes to starting seeds is a greenhouse. Now, not a greenhouse as in like a house that's green, but a greenhouse, also known as a hot house or a glass house by some or just whatever floats your boat. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a greenhouse is, it is a, uh, a structure enclosed as by glass that is used for the cultivation or protection of tender plants. This is according to the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. This means in the cold of winter, you can um, start seedlings for planting out in spring and get a head start on things, or give frost tender plants like citrus trees a uh, shelter that's warm and safe through the bleak midwinter. Now you probably already know where this is about to go. Oh yeah. Who invented them? How long have they been around? And where did they come from? So grab that sippy sippy and let's go on a trip through time together and answer the questions that have been pressing on the back of my brain. Now the act of trying to control a plant's growing environment to get a desired result or simply to grow something that is non-conducive to your climate can be traced all the way back to Roman times. Now the Roman emperor Tiberius Julius Caesar Augustus what a name, uh, was the second Roman emperor of the Roman Empire, and he um, reigned from uh, 14 AD until 37 AD. Now he, the emperor, uh, ate a cucumber-like vegetable daily. This what required the uh, Roman gardeners to experiment with different artificial methods, similar to that of a greenhouse, uh, to try and grow his... Um, his uh, his cucumbers or cucumber like I w it was unclear about that one because some sources said that it was cucumbers another one many other sources said that they were cucumber like vegetables some said they were in the cucubic family I don't know but cucumbers were mentioned in fact Polini the elder oh he's back he's back thanks for coming back Polini. Remember the onion episode? Yeah, same Polini. Now, he documented that uh, cucumbers were grown in wheeled carts that could be wheeled out into the sun during the day and then wheeled back inside during the night. So, I mean, they were growing cucumbers. So, yeah, we know that. According to Polini, the uh, cucumbers would be stored under frames or in houses glazed with a type of oiled cloth or using sheets of sp lapis specularis. Lapis. You know, the stone, the crystal. Lapis. Talk about a bougie greenhouse. Now, not only was the lapis specularis used for greenhouses or forms of greenhouses, uh, it was actually known amongst the Romans as the mirror. Yeah, because when the natural light falls on it, it produces a mirror-like effect. Crazy. Now, Polini points out in his writings that the wealth of this material, the lapis, would, could be found no further than about 100,000 steps outside of the Roman city, which is about 150 uh, kilometers. Now, the decline of the use of this mineral came at the end of the 2nd century AD, when the uh, ability to manufacture a cheaper glass became possible, which ended up collapsing the business of the... Um, the mines which ended up leaving them abandoned. Now the first documentation of an artificially heated greenhouse comes from a uh, farming paper compiled during the um, Korea's uh, Joseon dynasty in the 1450s. The traditional Korean heating method was built under the floor and it had insulated walls with transparent windows to just let just enough light in to keep the plants growing through the harsh winter but to provide them with sufficient protection. Starting in the 1200s, new techniques of glass making made it easier to make glass than ever. And uh, by the Renaissance era, which was the uh, 13 to 1600s, uh, bigger and more elaborate glass structures were being created. Now, this was during the great period of exploration and plants were being brought back from all over the world, such as Africa, the Middle East, and even the New World. 
Now these tender plants brought back from all over the world could be summered outdoors, but they had to be brought into large greenhouses called orangeries to uh, overwinter. Now the reason the large greenhouses started to be called orangeries was because that was the main purpose be behind them was to overwinter all of their lovely citrus trees, specifically the orange trees, as well as lemons, date palms, and other exotic plants. Now, the first modern greenhouses were built in Italy during the 16th century to house all the exotic plants that explorers were bringing back. It was also said that they also originally called them botanical gardens. The concept of the greenhouse spread to the Netherlands and then to England, along with some of the plants. Now, some of these early attempts took an enormous amount of work to close up at night or to winterize. The first stove-heated greenhouse in the UK was created in 1681 at the Chelsea Physic um, Garden, and um, its original purpose was to grow medical plants. Experimentation with greenhouse design continued in the 1600s in Europe as uh, technology produced better glass and construction uh, techniques developed. Greenhouses arrived here in America in the 1700s, and Andrew Fanwell, who was a prosperous Boston merchant, built the very first uh, American greenhouse here uh, in 1737. Now, the elaborate and massive greenhouse at the Palace of Versailles is a great example of their size and their potential being built in 1789, um, has over 10 million visitors per year in France. Even George Washington had a greenhouse. I know, I was going to get a president in here somehow. There he is, right there, George Washington. Uh, he built a greenhouse on his uh, property in Mount Vernon in um, 1787 so he could serve pineapple to his guests. Yeah. Charles Lucien Bonaparte, who is a who was a French botanist, uh, is credited with building the first practical greenhouse in the 1800s in Holland. Now they were used to grow uh, tropical plants and medicinal plants. Uh, initially, only the rich could afford them, but with the research potential, universities began um, having them as well, and they began popping up everywhere. Other large greenhouses built in the 1800s were the uh, New York Crystal Palace, which was originally built to be a exhibition building, and the Royal, um, I think it was like the Royal Greenhouse of Leakin, uh, built for King Leopold II of Belgium. The first greenhouse built in Japan was in 1880 by a man by the name of Samuel Cocking, who was a uh, English, uh, sorry, a British merchant who exported herbs. Now, a greenhouse is the dream asset to any home gardener and a must for most commercial growers. Now, due to the ever-changing world that we live in today, uh, greenhouses are much more accessible to the public. They can take many different forms and can be constructed to accommodate your wants, your needs, your style, and most importantly, your budget. Now, hopefully, I'll get around to having my very own glass palace one of these days made out of upcycled windows, but until then, browsing Pinterest will suffice. Now, honestly, this seemed to be all the dirt that I could seem to drag up on greenhouses. Uh, I know this was a little bit of a shorter episode, but I did my best. I brought up a president, and I did my duty. Hmm. <laughs> duty. Um, if you liked this video, please let me know by giving a big thumbs up. If you feel like sticking around, hit that big red subscribe button. Uh, share this video um, with your friends and comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, thank you so much for tuning in with me and sticking around. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Happy New Year. I hope you all have a wonderful start to your year with um, productivity. And if the if the commitments have already gone out the window, uh, tomorrow's a fresh start. So remember that. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you all later. Bye.